So first of all, I'm just going to make two circles, one for the land and one for the atmosphere. The atmosphere one is about, in fact, exactly 5% bigger. And we'll just add some semi-transparency. And we'll come back to that later. For now, we're going to add some surface features. Just take a different tone and just splatter a few things on there. Just a few different uh, lakes or seas. Now this planet, I'm going to go for a kind of semi-habitable world, somewhere between an Earth and a Mars. So we'll have some liquid oceans there, whether they're water or something else, I don't really know. Doesn't matter. But as long as it looks kind of, you know, like you might get on okay for a little bit there. So we'll add some uh, surface features as well. A few craters to give it some depth. Just use two tones to give the uh, lighting on that. And we'll add some sort of ravines or cracks in the surface as well. Just, just to show this is a living planet with geological activity going on there. And this will pretty much do it for the surface. Again, this is for an animation, so we don't want... Uh, too much realism, too much photo realism. Again, I wouldn't be able to draw anything that good anyway, but it's for an animation, so we need things to fit in with our characters who are going to have, uh, you know, less shading detail. Uh, so this should fit together quite nicely. So, coming back to the atmosphere, we're just taking a soft eraser and... Uh, Raising that hard edge so we can still see the atmosphere uh, raised above the surface. And we'll erase in the middle as well because of course around the edges from our perspective we're going to be looking through more atmosphere and that's going to be thicker. So one more layer we're just going to add a layer for a bit of shading, a bit of dark on one side on our right and a bit of light on the left and we'll just uh, blend those together just to give it the first stage of uh, subtle lighting we're gonna have it as if the Sun is on somewhere on that left hand side and we'll uh, finish that off later so now the next layer to do is gonna be for color a separate layer we'll put it on top of everything else and that will mean as a separate layer we're going to be able to change and play about with the colors as you know as often as we like and we don't have to start the whole thing again like i said it's going to be a kind of semi-habitable world so we're going to go with oranges blues greens just try out different things you can see the greens coming in there as we blend it together the colors here a little bit too vibrant but we can change that try different things a bit more orange maybe again probably too bright so we'll try something a bit subtler a bit more earthy colored We'll add that blue there and blend those together. And that looks more like it. That will probably do for the colour. The uh, final step is just to add one more layer, which will be for the uh, direction of the sunlight. So we'll just draw that on. We want to leave the uh, atmosphere poking around that. Uh, convert it to a hard light layer and just uh, colour it how we want and we can easily change any of these layers after the fact and produce a whole bunch of different planets or change the angle of light or the kind of color we've got uh, depending on uh, the context we need it for which is perfect for animation <laughs> 